Hi, uh, Wolf Bell Learn again. Uh, yesterday we talked about a little, a small, small bit about how um, we prepare our children for a world of words. And today I'm going to show you how we are starting to prepare our children for a world of numbers. Um, first thing I want to say is these are totally up to the children when they want to do them. There's no kind of structure to it. Maybe I'll say if I feel that our eldest needs to be calm, I'll ask if he wants to go and do his creativity, but there's no sort of pressure in it. Um, so at the moment, our eldest Wolfie has got really, really into numbers and he's started to really enjoy counting. And by counting, I mean one-to-one -one correspondence. I'll explain what that means. One-to-one -one correspondence is when you're actually counting objects, not just going one, two, three, four, five, because that's just, that's just rote, that's just singing numbers, doesn't really mean anything, it's just like the alphabet, it's just, I can't really explain that in a better way, <laughs> but one-to-one -one correspondence, let's use our fingers, would be one, two, three, four, if you weren't doing one-to-one -one correspondence, but you're still using your fingers, you'd be like, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you're not actually counting. Does that make sense? So anyway, tomorrow, um, we, we, every day anyway, we're always counting and just casually, it's just part of your day, isn't it? And we're measuring things or we are timing things. Um, we've got to remember that maths or numeracy or whatever it wants to be called doesn't always mean numbers. It can mean, it means shape, awareness of of positioning of things, positional language on top, below, side, in front, all that kind of so, so many things that are in that. But I'm showing you a numbers activity in particular for tomorrow. Uh, so let's start. For our youngest, who is nine months, for Lowell Bear, we have got a. I think I'm going to have to pick you up and show you. Can you see? An oven dish <laughs> with water in and it's just um, a bag of clothes I've been sorting out it's um, YouTube realness um, and some rubber ducks so we've got oh one you can you get the idea <laughs> see there's actually water in here as well so it's be fun to splash in three Four, five. So we're going to sing the song. Five little ducks went here one day. I am not going to do it right now, but I'll do it with the boys. <laughs> we'll do five little ducks went swimming one day. I also have a five little ducks went swimming one day puppet. Now I've got this because I'm a teacher, but they're quite easy to pick up if you wanted. Um, though I do think that a better way, a cheaper way and an easier way, more fun, is to do it physically with something like this, with the water and the five little ducks. You can pick these up really cheaply. So this is for both of them. Um, Wolfie started singing along to songs. He's He kind of wasn't so into singing along until quite recently. Um, I don't know, music used to just annoy him a bit, but <laughs> now he really likes it. So he'll sing along and Lil Bear will probably really splash in the water and things. It's just the whole experience. And I'll put you back on my little makeshift stand. Amazing. Um, for Wolfie, there, a cat. Yay, it won't be a video without a cat. Hey, two cats. Um, for Wolfie, I'm going to use this, which is a snack tray. This is from Sainsbury's. I think I got it in the sale. I think it was 75p, if I remember right. It's that kind of thing that you put like some sort of beige dip in the middle and then maybe like a big selection of beige around it or maybe crudite if you were feeling fancy but it, it works really well as a sorting tray i'll pick you back up so can you see i've put numbers around oops including zero the poor forgotten number zero is super important and it's one of those ones that i know i can forget to say the number zero but it's really important it's really central to a lot of things so zero and it goes round one two three four goes up to four 
and then I've scaffolded it. So scaffolded is when you secretly make something easier. <laughs> That's a good way of saying it. Right, I'll pack you that down. So Wolfie can actually count, um, but when it's an independent activity, I want him to feel like he can be fully independent and have some success in it to give him some confidence. So I have put only one Pikachu. So the one Pikachu goes in the one. Nothing goes in the zero because zero, the poor forgotten number, doesn't have anything. And then I've put in two Hello Kitties. So I've used things that he really likes. I've put in three little ponies. The worst Twilight Sparkle I've ever seen. Look at her. She's, she's proper. She's like a proper Twilight Sparkle. She's just terribly done. And four buttons. Partly because I couldn't put anything big in the middle anymore because I needed four buttons. So he'll kind of figure that out. It's more of a puzzle. Um... And hopefully he'll be able to do it independently. I'll probably do a little film of him tomorrow when he does it in secret though, because he doesn't really, I don't really want to make him feel like he's being watched. Um, and I'll take some photos and I'll put them on the Instagram. So follow on Instagram, Wolf Bear Learn. I'll put it below. Uh, any questions, just ask. Um, this is what we do with our children. I'm not saying that it's something that you have to do with yours. Uh, learning's fun and it's always in context. This is just an additional extra.